dear students welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai i am sri kumar the class is for 7th standard students subject is mathematics let me begin the class dear students we are going to learn more about algebraic expressions in this video where in the last video you studied about different types of algebraic expressions such as um, we classified them into monomials binomials trinomials and polynomials this was the classification done and i think you must have gone through the exercise and became very familiar with th th these different types of algebraic expressions the classification was mainly based on how many terms are there a term means which will be containing only multiplication as its operation for example if i simply write 3x it is a single term and it is a monomial and if it is 3x and there is a, another operation like addition or subtraction and another term comes then it becomes binomial if further it is trinomial and polynomial here in this video you will be learning about operations on algebraic expression what is meant by operations in mathematics operations will be naturally addition subtraction multiplication and division of the newly learned algebraic expression but for the time being in your this particular chapter you will be learning about addition subtraction and multiplication only so what are the conditions and methods of addition of algebraic expression whenever we are trying to add algebraic expression let us take this case itself 3x plus 4x we know that we are uh, familiar with the concept of coefficient here and variable here whatever be the variable over here if the same variable is here x over here if x is apple there is no problem in adding three apples with uh, four apples right and naturally it will become seven apples right the same way if the algebraic expression especially monomial expression like this if contains the same variable you can simply add and write that means here the answer will be 7x the concept is that if it is 3x plus 4y this can be apples but y is not apples it can be mango we cannot simply add mangoes with uh, apples so keep this in mind if they are like terms like terms you know the concept of like terms in the last video then we can simply add them understood that is a concept of addition and uh, the same concept we can apply in the case of uh, what we say subtraction also by subtracting also we will apply the same principle what is the principle we can simply subtract like terms for example if we are thinking about subtracting just like how we subtract if you subtract 7 from 18 you simply subtract and write the answer as 11 the same way if it is 9x minus 4x you will write the answer as 5x 9 plus 4 is 5 and x are the same things this kind of subtraction and addition can become little more complicated if there are more terms in that for example 
let us think about a subtraction or addition having more terms in that like terms only but little more complicated going back to addition I am taking this uh, simultaneously because both are having same principle the example here is 9 x square y square minus 7 x y this is an expression it is an expression having a binomial nature two terms are there one is 9 x square y square and the other one is 7 x y binomial we are going to add this with another term or another expression 3 x square y square plus 4 x y now we are going to add this we know that we can add the like terms that means we can simply add 9x square y square with 3x square y square and you can write it as simply as 12x square y square correct and you also know that minus 7xy can be added with plus 4xy and you can simply write it as 3xy so there are different ways of doing this one is simply horizontal arrangement the way I just told you so I will rearrange it I will bring this over here like 9 x square y square then I will go for like term here plus 3 x square y square then this is one particular set plus you are plus minus 7 x y plus 4xy now what happened this we will do together which is uh, equal to 12x square y square and this will become minus 7xy plus 4xy is equal to minus 3xy this will be the answer that means you will carry out from here to here then with this to this we call this as we are keeping it horizontally a horizontal arrangement we say there is another way of doing the same you can simply put 9 x square y question I have to copy 7 x y and put the same like term below this that is 3 x square y square below this and you are having the second term as 4xy below this you can put it like this we call this as vertical arrangement and the operation is addition I think this is more uh, practical because uh, all sign convention and everything can be properly followed this is the first set given this is the second set given you are putting it ac accordingly and solving the problem now in this case what happens we will simply add plus minus you have to find out the different difference is 3 badaka sign minus a and put the same term coefficient and variable are copied these both are positive total is 12 and it is 12 x square y square the problem solved I think this method you should follow for reducing the error of sign convention and other things okay so you may take time to understand this you will do more from your textbook look into the examples given in the textbook and you will become confident enough to do the operation and will start doing I have always said that there is no hurry burry with the mathematics that will put you in, in trouble it should not happen never so you will take time to understand and then you will add put the like terms one below the other and do the operation an example of addition having little complicated term shown to you if I will I would like to show you a subtraction type of sum also in that case you will come to know that uh, how it works okay 
for that let me take an example from your textbook the question is 16x plus 23y plus 12z this is one set of algebraic expression subtraction to be done from this minus according to the question the no, the, the other, other expression is 9x minus 27y plus 14z. According to the horizontal arrangement, it will remain like this. Then we will try to resettle in such a way that like terms will be brought together in order to operate. For that, we have to remove the bracket and after removing the bracket the sign will change over here the thing is that 16x plus 23y plus 12z minus 9x plus 27y minus 14z the sign over here will be changed because there is a subtraction sign here we have to take care in the case of subtraction you have to change the sign of all those terms which are having uh, which are inside the uh, inside means which are the second expression because during subtraction we change the sign and add it is not applicable in the case of addition where you will be directly opening the bracket which I, I had shown you earlier simply open there I did not mention anything about this because you will be simply opening the bracket here it is not applicable because subtraction is a positive addition so you'll change the sign and do the addition so changing the sign is done now what will happen next is we will rearrange it in such a way that like terms come together 16x and minus 9x will come together let us put it in a bracket then 23y and where is other y plus 27y will come in the next where it will be addition and plus you are having here 12z minus 14z right in another bracket ultimately what happens 16x minus 9x is equal to 7x plus 23y minus plus 27y is equal to 27 plus 50y then you are having 12z minus 14z um, the number to be subtracted is bigger so naturally it will become minus 2z so here is a changing the sign of all the terms inside to remove the bracket then do the operation of addition here all you can see the addition now in the vert this is horizontal arrangement if you go to vertical arrangement as i told you before it is quite easy your first expression is 16x plus 23y plus 12z right and the second expression is 9x minus 27y am i right yes plus 14z now the operation is subtraction so we need to change the sign of all this minus 9x this will become plus 27y this will become minus 14 now we will do the operation please remember that addition means simply add if like signs are there if opposite signs are there find the difference and put the sign of bigger absolute value subtraction means change the sign and add you will change the number to be subtracted and changes the sign and apply the rule of addition now it is an additional for addition format we will go from the right side 12z plus minus 14z means minus 2z plus 23y plus 27y which is equal to plus 50y positive 16x minus 9x means 7x 
This way we have to do the subtraction if it happens to be subtraction of, this is a trinomial in fact, earlier one was a binomial for addition and before, sorry, before that it was simple subtraction of a single term I showed you subtraction and addition 3x plus 4x is equal to 7x with the help of apples it was a simple addition when it was 9x minus 4x it was a simple subtraction but with the binomial addition we found that you can simply add open the bracket and add in horizontal arrangement can be done bring the like terms together that is a principle there you can do it vertically more conveniently by placing the like terms one below the other that also you show you could see here in this case and now it is a trinomial and it was subtraction understood let us go ahead to know more about algebraic expression more about algebraic expression and its operation dear students the Next topic to learn is about multiplication of algebraic expression as I told you. Multiplication of algebraic expression. In the case of multi multiplication of algebraic expression according to me it is more uh, easy and convenient than other two. Why? Because there is no such uh, rules of integers, uh, I mean uh, the uh, concept of like terms it should be. Rules of integers are there, like in like terms hona hai aisa kuch compulsion nahi hai. Because you are multiplying. In multiplication that is not applicable. For example, it is as simple like this. How simple it is. It is as simple as 3x into 2x is equal to 3 into 2, 6, x into x, x square. So it is just like 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x. But if it is 3x into 2y, one is set of apples and other is set of mangoes, but here there is no botheration, we will write 6xy understood if it is 2 a square into 3 a b square the result will be 6 a square into a a cube and b square it is as simple like that but as i told you the integers to be taken care of how to take take care of integers to take care of integers you should understand the, con the conventional methods like if it is minus 3x into 2x minus 3 into 2 minus 6 and x square if it is minus 3x square into minus 4xy you will write minus 3 into minus 4 12 x square into x x cube and y like that it is so here there is a, con it's a, it's a, it's a uh, norm that first multiply the coefficient first multiply the coefficients in the case of subtraction and addition we cannot say this first multiply the coefficients and write the answer then multiply the variables and variable multiplication is simple because x into x is x square x into y is x y this you have studied in the previous year and in in this class while learning about uh, indices and this multiplication is applicable for binomials also little care is required Sometimes it will be monomial with binomial, sometimes it will be binomial by a nonomial. Like that uh, it can be a little bit dif different. How can I show that? I will show a concept of um, uh, binomial with a monomial. The, the earlier one was both were monomial. Now it is binomial. One is binomial, the other one is monomial. Suppose a situation. For example, uh, 
I will show a simple example x plus y into is a binomial into x suppose. So that means the concept is that what is inside the bracket is multiplied by the other what is outside the bracket x will be multiplying this x will be multiplying this that means your answer will be x into x plus this plus and x into y and the answer will be x square plus xy understood but if the question is having uh, two binomials it's a behost you know? 7x minus 6y the whole is multiplied by 3z first a monomial multiplication so you will multiply 3z it is 2 months from jumeirah z and then with this subtraction in between so how will you write that 7x into 3z 7 3s are 21 xz said my zalik down then subtraction understood 21 xz then subtraction minus 6 into 3 naturally minus 18 y into 3z sorry y into z so it will be yz this becomes your answer but sometime it will be there are enough options here two binomials it can be like uh, 3x plus 4y multiplied by 5x plus 7y as I exited both are binomials as in the previous case we are supposed to multiply with 5x both these which is just like multiplying a binomial with a monomial then again with this this is the procedure and this can be done in two ways one is our horizontal method where we will be uh, opening the bracket and uh, solving it the other one is a vertical arrangement in the case of horizontal we have to decide accordingly 3x with 3x or with 5x we can multiply both that way we can arrange it in this case 3x plus 4y it is up to you which one you are taking together multiplied by 5x that means you will multiply both just like binomial multiplied with a monomial then you will be having 3x plus 4y multiplied by 7y and you will do that 5 3s are 15 x into x x square 5 fours are 20 x into y x y then 3 x here 3 sevens are 21 x y then 7 fours are 28 y square you will take a minute to see that whether there is any like term inside then you can see that these are like terms understood and you will add those because addition is there between that can be done in that case this will become 15 x square plus 20 x y plus 21 x y is equal to 41 x y plus 28 y square understood this can be done horizontally as I told you before we can uh, do it vertically also the same question let me do it here the question is 3x plus 4y we will put it vertically one below the other 5x plus 7y to be multiplied so we will first think about multiplying with 5x then with 7y it is up to us but we will start like that 5x multiplied by 4y then we will write 20xy 5x multiplied by 3x it is equal to 
15x square. So multiplication with 5x is over, just like how it is done here. With 7y, 7y multiplied by 4y is equal to 28 y square. There is no such term here, so we'll write it here, 28 y square. There are a lot of freedom in this multiplication. 7y into 3x is equal to 21 xy. That I will put below xy like term. Then do the addition the way we do always. Here it is 28 y square. Then this is 41 xy and 15 x square. same answer we got in vertical arrangement and meanwhile I would like to tell you one important thing this arrangement horizontal arrangement I did this 3x plus 4y multiplied by x over here right it can be 5x 7y multiplied by 3x, then 5x plus 7y multiplied by 4y, you will get the same answer. It is up to you to decide which one to be multiplied. The sense is that if you are multiplying 4 into 3, you will get 12. If you multiply 3 into 4, then also you will get 12. Understood? So there is an option over here. Here also, whether you are multiplying with the 7y first or 5x first is not that important you will get the same answer one thing is very important like terms to be placed one below the other so that your answer will come out correctly okay this you should take care with this i am concluding this video hope that uh, this will be sufficient for you to go through the examples once again as well as to um, do the exercise which will be a, a test for you were you whether you understood or not basically it was about addition and subtraction of uh, algebraic expression where uh, uh, you were doing it right with monomial binomial and trinomial the topic was about uh, I, uh, studying about monomial binomial trinomial and uh, its operations we reached to the level of operation where addition can be carried out between like terms and uh, following the principles of addition of uh, integers subtraction also the same principle is followed whenever there is like terms you can simply add unlike terms cannot be added and sometime when we are having more than one term mono, maybe monomial binomial trinomial then also the like terms to be added together taking care of their sign convention there are two ways of doing it one is a horizontal method and the other one is a vertical method where we will be arranging the terms one below the other taking care of it, their sign and it can be same in the case of subtraction but as per the rule subtraction is opposite of addition you have to change the sign and add if you are doing in the horizontal method in that case bracket can be opened by changing the sign because subtraction is changing the sign and doing the operation of addition and in the case of vertical arrangement also you have to change the sign of the number to be subtracted that is what is done here you can see you will look into your examples given in the textbook also which will help you to again and again see what is done and you can watch the video also again and again to check that what is done here it is multiplication of algebraic expression where we found that the concept of like terms are not applicable here simply multiply and just like how you learned in the case of indices x into x is x square but x into y is equal to xy x plus y is not equal to xy x into y is equal to xy that particular principle is applied here so you will simply multiply following the principles of integers you studied and you will get the sign convention properly and you will get the answer
Sometime it will be multiplication of binomial with monomial, sometime with binomial with a binomial. In every case, every, uh, every term in the bracket should be multiplied with every term in the other bracket. So you can conveniently arrange it either horizontal or vertical and get the answer. My dear students, practice is the only way to make this yourself perfect and it is a must because this kind of operations will be very frequent in your higher classes, especially in 9th and 10th to solve many situations in uh, your mathematics problems at that time uh, application will be there of this kind of operations in order to solve the situation so you should be thorough with the technique of uh, what we say operations on algebraic expression regarding uh, division of algebraic expression will be dealt in another video thank you Now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel, then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos. Thank you.